Hi, I'm Dan Finkel, and I'm a math educator. One of the things I get really interested in is what is the skill that's actually developing as students work more and more deeply in mathematics and go longer and longer in their careers? And I think there is one metric that explains almost the whole thing, and it is how long are you willing to be stuck on a problem? And what I found is young kids, maybe they can be stuck for 10 seconds or 20 seconds, maybe even a minute or two. And if they're really involved in like a playful experience, maybe even five or 10 minutes. Play kind of extends our ability to do this. As we get older, I don't know, maybe in grades three and four, you might see five minutes, 10 minutes. And ideally, in the upper grades, you're gonna see students increasing that to a half hour, an hour. By the time I was in graduate school, I feel like I was ready to spend a month stuck on a problem. And by the time you're a professional mathematician, maybe you need to spend many months or even years stuck on a problem. It is your willingness to be stuck in the productive struggle that defines how powerful you are as a mathematician. That is just one of the key components to the whole game. So here's, here's the deal. We need to teach that. Because if you're not teaching that, you are not helping your students to become better mathematicians. And what that means is you have to teach them to persist, to persevere, to struggle in a productive way, which means you have to give them the time to struggle. And this is the hardest thing as a teacher because there are so many demands on your time, so many learning targets, so many things, and yet it is maybe the most critical thing to defend, to say there needs to be a time where my students can just dig into a problem that is worth doing and see if they can go longer today than they did the previous day. Get a little bit further before I step in to help them. Give them that time to extend themselves as problem solvers. I've seen students who go through school and the longer they're in school, the less willing they are to spend time on a math problem. They're learning the opposite lesson that they need to learn, if that's the case. If you're less willing to spend time on math problems, if you see them as things you should just either know the answer to or you shouldn't even bother doing them, that is the opposite lesson we need to teach. We need to give students time to struggle and help them engage and extend themselves to become more persistent, more perseverant.